Hey guys, now today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a versus video. We're gonna be doing, a, it's gonna be a little bit different to what I normally do. I'm not gonna be bagging out on either of these particular pieces of software we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be looking, basically I'm gonna be showing you a comparison of each one. We're gonna be looking at the benefits on each of them as well as anything that we I think might be a bit of a downfall with each of them as well. Now I'll be doing that so that you can make up your own mind and make your own choice as to which way you want to go. Now also too, I'll leave links for both of those down in the description down below. Today's video is literally going to be about NVIDIA versus Pictory. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making sure that you're well and truly informed as to which one you might want to choose. All right, well, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to, be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, let me smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, so let's start off with NVIDIA AI. Now, one of the things you're going to be looking at here is all you need to do really is just add a prompt. Then what you can do is you can tell it whether or not you want it to have the iStock images or videos now I would highly suggest if you're doing the free version to not have that, to get rid of it. However, they do have options if you're choosing to pay for it. Now I will leave a link for both this one and also Pictory in the links down below. And each one of them had their benefits and each one of them had their own fall, flaws and faults. Pricing, oh, by the way, have a look at the pricing here at NVIDIA AI so that we can get an idea as to what we're looking at. Over here, you can see 10 minutes a week of AI generation which means you can do two five minute videos if you wish to, or one 10 minute video per week, which works out to be about 40 minutes a month. But you don't get the iStock one, so you don't get quite a high quality, quite as high quality videos, and you can't do voice clones. But over here, you've got your 20 plus dollars per month, which gives you 50 minutes of AI voice generation, 80 iStock video, uh, images and videos, 100 gigabytes of storage, unlimited exports, two voice clones, and up to one user. And over here, you've got $48 a month, which gives you quite a bit more, 200 minutes a month, which works out to be, I think it works out to be approximately three videos, 10 minutes a week each. And you could do that for an entire month and then you'd probably use up your credits. Okay, now over here in Pictory, we have the starter, which is one user, 30 videos a month, which is basically one video a day, which is really one of the benefits of Pictory. It does give you that option. 600 transcription minutes a month, meaning that if you want to be able to edit a video using the transcript, you can do that, but you get up to 600 minutes per month doing that. 200 million royalty free premium videos with uh, story blocks, 34 text to speech AI voice voices. These are not as good as you would expect. They're actually quite basic. However, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to do a workaround with that. Now, if you're going to be doing the professional one, that's $39 a month, and you get one user, 60 videos per month, which means you can do two a day if you wish to, 1,200 transcription minutes per month, 51 hyper-realistic voices, and I'd say 34 of those would be the regular ones, but over here you get these ones here for 11 labs. Because I bought this from AppSumo originally, it doesn't give me the option of having that, unfortunately. If I want to have any voiceovers, I have to pay for them. Eh, it is what it is. But as I said, I do have a workaround. And then you've got all these other things here. It does give you a free trial as well. And that's $39 a month. And if you wish to do it monthly, it's $25 a month or $49 a month. But yearly, it comes down to $39 a month. All right, so with that in mind, let's go and have a quick look at how to do this. Now, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be putting down a prompt. And here is the prompt. Create a five minute video script about what is Stoicism? How can we apply this philosophy today? Quote ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus and Seneca to back up each main point. Speak about how to practically apply this philosophy to our lives today. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not worried about it. We also do need to make sure that we don't include iStock video images. That's okay, we will have a workaround with that at the end. If it gives us some iStock videos, we can ask it to remove all the iStock and just replace it with the Storyblock ones. Over here, you've got self-improvement, inspirational, clean and dramatic, 
You also have YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I think we'll go for the self-improvement seekers, inspirational, and also YouTube. So we'll go there, and it will then begin, begin to create it. Now, what also with here, with Pictory, you're going to need to have your own script. It doesn't actually create the script for you, which is a bit of a, a bit of a letdown, but that's okay, because you can always go over here to ChatGPT. Now, I put the same prompt in here, and I found out that I had to actually do some editing with the prompt, but then eventually I came down to the one that I really like. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to place that straight into here with this. I'm going to just go here, straight into there. And I will have to do some editing here. I will need to remove these hashtags, because we don't want to say in hash, hash, hash. We want to remove all those hashtags so as to avoid any major issues later on. I also need to make sure that I put a full stop at the end of every one of these so that it makes more sense to how it's written. I'll go through and fix all these up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I actually put full stops behind each one of the quotes. And I also made sure that these had colons, not full stops. Otherwise, it will just put the one on its, on its line on its own. So make sure that you Put colons where you have it here because if it just had a full stop it would put number one on a single line on its own i only know that from experience so it's wisdom to make sure you put that there instead all right so i'm actually quite i'm ready to do this and proceed and this will create the video for me now it used to give us whether we had the option where we could choose the template it doesn't do that anymore which is okay because it speeds the process up no end which is really what we want. We want this to be a fast process, not something that's going to take for all day. So while we're waiting for this to be created, both here at Pictory as well as in video, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, now it does appear that it has finished. Now it's got here story blocks, as you can see the watermarks just there. And when you'll see, because we're in the free one, it will give us a watermark here as well. So let's have a quick watch and see if we need to remove any of the iStock videos at all. In a world often characterized by chaos and uncertainty, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers timeless wisdom. Founded by Zeno of Sidium in the... Th so let's go here. Let's go to edit. And I'm going to try and see if I can remove that. Oh, it doesn't let me have it. doesn't really give me a choice. So I'm going to go here. Please remove all. It does give us the option to do this, which I, I do like. Please remove all iStock videos and images and replace them with the story block videos. All right, now let's go generate and see what it can do. Won't take too long. Let's have a look and see where Victory is at. Okay, it looks like it's almost finished. It's still creating the scenes, as you can see, and it's almost finished. It'll be ready in just a moment. Oh, here we are. It's ready now. Now, one thing I will do. I'm going to go straight over to the audio. I'm going to remove this audio altogether as it'll be too loud. Now, another thing I want to do is go over here to actually what I want to do here is go here. I want to upload my voiceover. Now, what I did is I went over to 11 Labs. I used that script that was already here in ChatGPT and I placed that straight into here. I also removed any of the things like the hashtags, so that it didn't read the hashtags. I'm going to take this back. And I also chose the voice. The voice I chose was a man named Arnold. Now let's have a listen to this. Stoicism, ancient wisdom for modern life. Welcome to this exploration of Stoicism. Now I really like this voiceover and I've already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Pictory and I'm going to upload a voiceover into here. Now I'm going to uh, now that I'm in that section, I'm going to grab my voiceover and I'm going to place that straight into here. Once it does that, it's then going to think about everything, and I am then going to apply it to the entire video. There we are. Apply entire video. That's the one. Now it will then recreate the video scenes for us, including the entire video. And once it's done that, we'll be right back because then we'll be able to watch it properly. Actually, while we're here, let's have a look and see if it's replaced any of these. Yeah, story blocks it has. Excellent. Let's start from the beginning. In a world often characterized by chaos and uncertainty, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers timeless wisdom. Founded by Zeno of Sidium in the 3rd century BC, Stoicism provides a framework for resilience and inner peace. 
its teachings from philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca remain relevant today. Stoicism emphasizes focusing on what we can control. So I'm not going to go too far into it. You can see how long does this video go for? It goes for over five minutes. Now, once you finish this one, you'll see that this one goes for about a bit over five minutes as well. One of the things we can't get in NVIDIA is it won't allow you to use any of anyone else's voices. I can't record my own voice if I wanted to read something out in this. I can't just read my own voice and have it do that. You'll need to use the NVIDIA Studio to be able to do that. You can't just add your entire script there. It's got to use its own script. So that's another issue as well. Now, you can't just grab, say, for example, a voiceover from your own voice if you wish to or Eleven Labs, unfortunately, which it's okay because they do use premium voices anyway. I'm not sure where they get their voices from, but they're really quite good quality voices. So you shouldn't have too much of an issue. All right, so let's go back over here. It's still thinking. We'll pause the video until it's finished. Stoicism, ancient wisdom for modern life. Welcome to this exploration of Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy that teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means of overcoming destructive emotions. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for that one right now. It's looking good. Okay, so but you will, probably will need to change up some of the images and videos. You probably want to go through the entire thing. Now, one of the things I will do is I will, I will remove the writing from the screen. As you notice, within video, it already doesn't include the writing already, but Picture does. But that's okay. You can remove that by clicking on that and apply to all, and that removes the writing off every single screen and it goes for approximately once it has finished thinking five minutes and 28 seconds now all you need to do here is just simply download it once you're happy with it and then you can just straight up use that and put your own music to it if you wish to i would highly suggest don't use their music because i did have a video where i was showing this to people and unfortunately the video got flagged as being copyrighted which is a problem because the copyright person was claiming money from much from that particular video and i didn't particularly like that so i demonetized that video but the thing is what you need to do is make sure that you don't use their music so unless you can get proof of their license i would suggest don't use the picture voiceover music or the picture music and just use your own and what i would highly suggest is use the youtube music library so that it doesn't affect it and over here, as I said, you got your NVIDIA. And I'm sure if you contacted NVIDIA, they would be able to give you a copy of their music license because they don't give you a choice as to remove the music, which is also a bit of an issue. But for easeability, which one is easier? I would say NVIDIA AI is far, far easier to use than Pictory. Pictory is, is easy to use. If you want to be able to create the prompt here and Maybe muck around with the prompt a little bit with ChatGPT. And then you can place that in here and create the videos and so forth. And then you can also upload your own voiceover and remove the, uh, remove the music in the background, then add your own music to it and so forth. This really is, as far as I'm concerned, the probably the, the mildly harder way, but it's also more reliable. Victory is far more reliable. In video, it's good. And you do have the option of editing using words if you wish to, which is great as well. Now you can then download this, download it just there, but it will also be watermarked. And But so does the free version of Pictory as well. So you're going to get watermarks regardless, the free one. Obviously, if you are a paid member, it doesn't have those watermarks. Okay, guys. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know which one you prefer and which one you'd be more likely to use. Also, to let you know, right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, that's an image of my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.